My first impressions of coming down the East End was that people were always talking, and they obviously all knew each other, and they were very friendly, and they always asked how I was. I didn't know them. And so I was so shy, I wonder why they, they would talk to me. And I would go walk along the markets, there were lots of stalls and things there with the fruit and the daily produce. I always remember the ladies with the beehive hairdos, with their shopping bags full of potatoes and things. And the gentleman would call out, hello, darling, how are you? Uh, things like that, it was, it was great fun. Well, everyone knows this as the Troxy in the East End on Commercial Road, but I only knew it as the London Opera Centre, and it is the reason why I came to England. This building played a very, very important part in the beginning of my life as an opera singer. In fear and trembling, I came through those doors in 1966. I was a terrified little bunny rabbit, and I had wanted to go back home for Christmas because I was so lonely. Well, it's about um, 20 years since I've been to this place, um, <laughs> the old Troxy, and I can't imagine what it's going to look like. <laughs> My gosh! But it's actually more beautiful than I remember because it's all beautifully restored. Down here is where we used to rehearse The Marriage of Figaro. This was the first big opportunity I had to do a major, major role. I suppose it was actually the only role that I knew, so I was rather stuck with The Countess and The Marriage of Figaro. And after that, I had to start uh, learning all sorts of other roles. And so it was the sort of real bouncing board for me to start onto an international career. <laughs>